We're now on the air. Welcome to Hukalo TV. Today is Saturday, April 21st, and today we have the pleasure of uh, guest host Ivan Teller of IvanTeller.com and uh, an extensive YouTube channel of uh, channel sessions and Q&A sessions. Um, uh, before we get started, I'd like to just get some of the announcements out of the way. Uh, the fall workshop uh, we uh, have uh, listed on Hukalo.org. Uh, the Saturday after next, Wendy, Jim, Charles, and Witch Mitchell, uh, Will Mitchell, are uh, going to be offering a white magic class, and I believe there's a Facebook event posted about that. Um, did anybody else have an announcement uh, while we're on announcements? Then I will go to introductions. In the room with us today, we have Bobby, Christine, Dave, Eva, Ivan, Amran, Rita, and myself, Mark. Um, and uh, we're going to do a slightly different format this time uh, to, to um, make sure that everybody participating gets an equal chance to participate. We're going to limit each person to just two questions. Uh, is that right, Ivan? Those two we, we discussed? Uh, where, I mean, not a whole many people here, so I guess I just leave it open. Okay. Whatever, whatever you think, you know. We gotta right. fill up an hour, right? So we have <laughs> so whatever you whatever you say. If you want to go through people again too, it's up. That's up to you. So. All right. Well, let's try. Uh, well, we'll ask everybody to wait a little bit if they've gotten two questions in, uh, just to give others a chance, and and then if it gets quiet, uh, we'll uh, take thirds. Um. All right. I is there somebody? Uh, do you know who's coming through today, Ivan, or do you want to just uh, surprise us? Uh, I have an idea, but just leave that as a surprise. Probably a good idea to okay. just let them. I like to let them do their thing. See what comes in for messages, and then um, go into the Q and A portion. They'll they'll say they're ready for Q and A, basically. So okay. that's all I got for that. <laughs> um, does anybody have a blessing they'd like to share before we begin? Well, I'll just pray that uh, whatever information comes through is for the highest good of ourselves and humanity. And uh, the Spirit of God are with us and uh, guiding us towards truth and light. Okay. All right, Ivan. Um, okay. Uh, let's see if I can bring in a um, angel or some or higher entity for a uh, a blessing also as we uh, get started here so all right so we're ready to go sorry blessings uh yeah you most likely met uh, beings will come through with a uh, message might be one or two beings and then uh we'll go into uh the q a so all right blessings there everyone and uh here we go Greetings to you, this is Yeshua. My energy is to you as you explore your vibrations, as you connect more to your higher self energies while allowing yourself to mature. Yes, there's many controversies of understanding one's true self. And it's not always being true to yourself as others 
are true to them, but of course to their point of view, they are at the right energy of what they feel. As many of you are connecting more to your higher energies, many will feel disconnected from what you are going through, what you are connecting to. But you have as many challenges. As you know, during my time, it was a great challenge. But as for the souls of this earth, are going through a massive healing phase of understanding themselves. And the soul will transform itself into a new being. Many of you are already feeling this as you're going to somewhere, you're going to fifth and sixth dimensions, and even higher than that. As yes, there's always a question of understanding that there's nothing wrong with questioning, but remember the truth of you, what matters most. Yes, you are cutting through the matrix, as you call it. And that is what you're here to do, is open this world up to new possibilities. Others are used to the third dimension realities, and many of you is always a few bring you into a new environment. Blessings to you all. Greetings to you. We are Essasani. Blessings. This is Neiman. Welcome. Yes. Yes, we are. One moment. Yes, as we assist your society in your transition into a higher vibrational energy. Yes, you're connecting to many moons that you're not always seeing on your environment. There are other dimensions, other worlds around you that you're not seeing at this time. You're actually connecting to those vibrations, pulling those realities into this reality as you're basically opening up your magic connected to other worldly magic energies at this time so many of you are feeling this you're feeling as if you're somewhere else and probably most likely you are because you, you're gathering data for this environment changing the dna of this earth reality as you see this has many conflicts around it as you can see conflicts within itself as it's used to the old third dimensional and energy field but that will shift itself out when humans are ready yes you can say it's kind of like a yes a dirty dna in your third dimension you can say junk DNA in some regard it is just it's mostly in the mental state as you can see as some are so used to the old timelines and many of you are building new ones and it's not just for this world but you're connecting this world to other worlds as you are aware yes it's already connected to other realities but you are pulling other ones in on your own maybe you feel that vibration most likely <laughs> and some are feeling yes an anaki presence here as yes they have still a lot of positive energies they can bring to your world yes there's controversies of their past but so does human have a lot of that also as the soul is more still warning of itself so blessings to you i believe there's another one to continue in a message format blessings
Greetings, this is Caesar. From the future version of their planet, greetings to the society. Hello to all of you. Welcome. Greetings to you. Yes, I see there's a small crowd. Excellent for that, because we get to know each other. <laughs> That's basically a fine dandy energy. To understand who I am, yes, I'm a future human of your planet. Yes, we are interdimensional. Yes, we can come and go whenever we want, as we are great at transportation, basically, to teleport is one of our fine talents, of course, as much of great. But at this time, we yes, we are assisting you in your graduation into the fourth dimension. Yes, many of you are still, yes, going into that. Some of you are already connected to the fifth. You already received your hat and gown, and that's great. But also realize that, that there is much more to come. As just many challenges, many don't believe in your vibration, which is fine, because many are connected to, yes, many of you hit a, a a wall in some regard in your third dimension as for our soul expansion but the other way i believe you want to go into the q and i'd be happy to assist whenever you are ready <laughs> well i don't see any questions yet so i'll throw one in um, you mentioned mm. one of your skills is teleportation are you yes. at, the, at a stage where you no longer need technology for that uh, not at all. Vibration is take to, connected to a sixth dimension of vibration that we don't normally need that anymore. It all depends. It's all in the mind, basically. Well, it's in the heart, whatever you want to word it. But it's also basically is where you want to be, and you go there, basically. If you want to be nowhere, you can be there, too. But many of us are actually wanting to time travel. And that's one of the energies that we connect to. So, yes, it's quite a... I see Dave has a question. Want to go next, Dave? Yes. Uh, greetings, Caesar. Greetings, you. Uh, can you give us a little uh, view of what your reality is like? Um, has the world been destroyed by humanity, or have we taken the path of ascension and uh, taken the Pleiadian kind of path? Well, yes, it took a path of the ascension. Of course, this is a timeline that not everyone's going to connect with it basically yes third dimension dragged itself out as long as it could but as many of you are connecting more to your higher vibrations many of you actually made a name for yourselves and just basically went to in some ways more of a a buddhism point of view meaning you connected to like a new religion but without the religion <laughs> basically helping mm -hmm. others connect to themselves without the religious energies and then more people just feel like the third dimension isn't working for me anymore. Why not give this a shot? So it took a very long time. There is peace in our time, but as we are connecting other worlds to, to this current one, and we don't see any cataclysms. Of course, timelines can change between, between my time and your time, but we believe you will find your way out of the rabbit hole when you are ready. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it did connect more to a Palladian. It's connected to an Arcturian played in reality. Of course, others connect to the realities that are, are right for them, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, is there anything else you have? Um, I do have one more question, if that's okay, Mark. Please, go ahead. Um, humanity is kind of taking the path of um, <clears throat> um, cybernization, and it seems that uh, this could be a potentiality in the future. Is Do you see much of that, uh, where you're coming from? As for technology taking over humanity, is that what you're going at? <laughs> sort of uh, mixing technology with humanity. Yes, many of your humans are going to become more robotic over time. It's because they're just not willing to see themselves for who they are. Many are going to go to more of an AI interface. Is because they're still not really ready for the fourth dimension vibration. So this is now this won't be the entire population. It's always going to be a small population. It's just as they're connected to 3D, they want to also experience what 3D has to offer. And so that's going to be the normal, but many will become addicted to it, like you see any other addiction. Some will actually make money doing this more of this, this virtual reality setup. But yes, many are going to integrate it, and then you're going to throw it out and just had enough of it connecting more to your spiritual energies. You can make both work, but many are going to let it take over their lives, as you can see it already. But as you're going to call it, cause a Terminator scenario, basically end of the world, unlikely. The Archons are much like that, 
but unlikely to happen. As many of you, the soul, the spirit of humanity, even if it is not always going in the most positive direction, it is still going into, it is going to a positive direction. It's just, it's still in a confined reality, as you can see. <laughs> but it is going into a more lucrative direction. It's just, it's all within the mind, as you can see. The mind is causing a lot of difficulties for one to think clearly. But many of you are connecting through your heart, and that is what's bringing you to where you are, and will continue your journey. Thank you, Caesar. That's all Blessings. I have. Yes. Eva, are you ready to go? Yes. Yes, I can ask a question. Thank you. Yes. Um, thank you so much for talking to us. Yes. Um, I'd like to ask about current political situation in the USA, um, as I have ongoing concerns. Um, some read the actions of our president of, as very negative and some as very positive. So um, um, I want to know, um, uh, our president Trump said that he wants to withdraw troops from Syria and then a week later Syria got bombed. Um, it, I don't know if you can comment on um, how did this happen as well as anything what's happening in Korea and uniting North and South? Do you, do yes. you see anything? Can you, can you comment anything about yes. that? When, with your Saudi, well, one moment, see your son. Syria, well, actually does have a Saudi influence there greatly as for its resources as not usually brought into your public. But yes, with your Syria, basically your, Almost. Your military went into the direction it felt it needed to enforce a Trump his hand, basically. It's basically they gave him an ultimatum that he could not refuse. As yes, there's a lot of controversy around Trump, as it is, as you can see, nothing's been made public, basically. Yes, you see the knife at his throat, but there's a lot more going on as for scandals that most likely will not hit the mainstream at this time. But basically, he got pulled into it no, no matter what. We don't see it happening anytime soon again as basically a lot of that what was happening there has been healed but as for what north and south korea is going into yes a renaissance it will take time but i believe the borders will be taken down from what we are seeing it will take some time for that as yes basically the souls of those of that area have not fully let go of the negativity uh but there is there's going to, this is going to take many years of course as basically there's been a lot of controversies behind the table basically as for your north korea basically either end this or end your or your life will be gone basically from what we are seeing so as for what's going on in your syria it does seem like it's going to continue as for airstrikes there is a possibility of that as is it there's a lot of rushes being pulled in there too not always willingly but as for what is going on it is yes a connected to the aliens, Syrians, and reptilians, and cabal energies do not want that to the unrest to end. Because once that ends, they feel as if they lose the war, war on this planet. So they want to keep it the way it is as long as they can. Okay. I understand. Um, do you think uh, Trump will succeed with um, ending... Um, the domination of cabal over this planet because i was told that he's working on um, basically removing them um can you can you tell us anything yes. about that he's removing yes he's removing a lot of the influences from the cabal not all of it of course but he's he's doing what he can without himself losing his life basically so this would most likely continue as for we do see the second term is more has more progress Right now, you see some there like Bernie's like second term. What are you talking about? But I uh, realize your elections are not usually done by votes, <laughs> as it might seem, as the illusion of voting is in your culture. But there's a lot going on as for what is not seen. But as for your uh, with Trump, yes, he's a he's being a while. Is he? You can say he's tippy -to tippy through all of this. He's being careful. Uh, he knows where the line is and not to cross it. So he has to give a little and take a little. So he is well protected. Your military most likely go through a shift. 
it won't be seen on the outside of your military basically with that being de de dethroned shows your elites no longer have the power that they did that's nice. okay thank you so much yes. Yes, is there anything else? We can all have coffee if there's nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm not seeing any more questions at this moment, and I do have one. Yes. Um, I'm most anxious to see us move towards first contact and ascension. And besides prayer and meditation and sending energy to the planet, what other things can we do to help raise the consciousness around us to bring that more quickly to fruition? Well, number one is to get along with each other. It does help. It's basically just be yourself. You're going to be naturally changing the reality of this world just by being yourself. You don't mean you have to go out and save the world by having as many friends as possible. It's basically just being yourself and just and just just being you. And it's just you alone is sending out energies. If you're always feeling like I have to save the world, I have to save the world. It's like, are you doing anything for you? Not yes you are but it's just the more that you have fun with yourself the more energy you're sending out the better time you have being you you're connected to mother earth the more more joy you have in your reality if it's many lovers if it's one lover if it's a tree whatever it might be that is really that is the magic of it basically and many humans are having difficulties in third dimension paying the bills and and basically, as you are connecting to what you, because when you are at the bliss of you, you will go do things sporadically. And that is the, the sporadic energies of this, oh, I feel like I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there. That's really, that's where your magic is being done. So seeing the future isn't always needed. Even your aliens can't see the future either. They can see some of it, they can see yours, but they can't see themselves. They can see Earth, yeah, they can see many different scenarios, this scenario, that scenario. But for themselves, they usually can't see the future that clearly. It's not intended to. So just be you, have fun, and oh, that's good. Thank you very much. Does anybody yes. else have a question at this time? I have a question, if I may. Please. Yes. Um, there is a lot of um, hype around Horus, the Egyptian god, and Isis. Uh, even now at these times, I know that they had a lot of impact and on, on humans, the cycles of humanity that um, humans had to go through and they did a lot that affected even the timelines that we are experiencing yes. now and their um, victories or results um, changed everything that we are that humans are experiencing today so now they have ascended and they ascended uh, to higher dimensions but what are their roles both of them here now both both Horus and uh, Isis at this time what how do they assist now and what do they really do where are they well isis she is she is in the higher dimensions she does connect to the mothers of this earth she's around basically for as children are being born she's there as desisted mothers those that she, that ask for her energy and those that she's known other incarnations she assists uh she's also a spirit guide energy to many as for horse now, I understand there are many different places, but as for Horus, he's more of the military energies from what I see at this moment. As for breaking it down from what I see. So, of course, he's on a lot of male energies here, but I believe he's part of the dismantling of military and just war for that in general. And so it seems to be, an, you know, he's working actually with your, your Trump, actually, and others that are causing, you know, trying to bring peace into the realities. And he is more of a six dimensional being, but he's in many places at once. He's on many different worlds also to get input. Basically, he is, but yes, part of this Earth's ascension is vital, basically, to remove the, the darkness that's been here for such a long time. Okay, thank you. Yes. And um, the other thing is will they again incarnate here on Earth as, as, um, like, twin flames or as divine beings as they were on Egypt as that role will they take on that role again in future or as yes as a yes most likely in your future 
it's yeah, it's going to be some time for that. But yes, uh, it depends on who wants to experience that. But yes, as it's they will you will know who it is most likely. They might go by a different name. It's up to them. In my in my reality, they have used the same name, at least in my histories. Uh, but they do make it a, basically a push out of fourth dimension into fifth dimension is really where they show up. So it's up to humans to go into the fourth. And then as it's warning the fourth, you can go into the fifth. So that's this. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. That was it from me. And yes. I hope they come back and, you know. Well, they do have aspects here. That's one thing they did not mention. Okay. They are here as human. Yes. And cool. you have run into a few, I see. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Yes. That was it. Yes. Well, if we don't have any more questions in the Hangout, there are a few in the YouTube chat. Uh, yes. Cammy asked, did we all ascend in your history line? And if not, what percentage did and what happened to those who didn't? Well, many do. It's, it's different for everyone. Many are in the third dimension are going to have difficulties ascending, but that is fine. But many of you that wish to ascend will ascend. And the, uh, the third dimension, it's going to be fourth dimension and third dimension. It's just the way it's going to be. But nobody's going to be left behind. Far from it. As you are, you are already experiencing this. It's just not as high as you'd like it to. Oh, you're just at the beginning of it, though. So many of you will start to connect to aliens and beings. It's all going to start happening. It just, you are working. The more you want it in your mind, it will come. As for when, well, the timeline, yes, that's kind of, it is a hard time right now, as you can see. But in your future generations, connecting to aliens will be no problem at all. It will be just as normal as connecting to a neighbor across the street. But those in the third dimension are going to still be around. It's like, oh, you guys are crazy, da 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 It's going to be going up. That's okay. Don't learn how to handle that better. You're learning it now. You're just not going you'll be more known in your future so everyone's going to ascend eventually at their own time everybody has their own time he was next um i want to ask about humans in the future it seems like more and more people are becoming vegetarians and uh, and um, also there is a strong movement of even breviarians so how is it going to, um, is a lot of people going to become uh, Bavarians and basically not eat? As, it depends on the, the individuals. It's going to be, there's always going to be differences. Some can be mostly Bavarian, no food at all, who needs it anymore, but some are going to prefer it. It's like I'm still going to experience this since I'm not done with my. Yes, my Taco Bell. Of course, it'll be a lot healthier in the future, of course. A lot of your fast foods are going to be a lot healthier, but all foods in general will be healthier. And why not eat that? If it's healthier than it is now, why not eat it then? Why not? If it's going to help you. Many will be vegetarian. Most likely, most are going in your timeline, because mine's a little bit different than yours, because you are going in yours, I'm in the future. I'm kind of on a different timeline, and a world was not that, that much. But... Many are vegetarian. So I'm connecting more of your timeline where you are as a grown to where I am. So where you are, yes, most are going to be probably vegetarian. Breton, yes. Some vegetarians, I feel, because some are not ready to let go of food altogether. In the future, future means sixth dimension. Food is not really a necessity. <laughs> so there's always going to be a little bit of everything, basically. And even meat, but meat will be a lot healthier than it is right now. <laughs> so, Thank you. All right, um, Carol in the YouTube chat had a question about the um, leadership in Canada. Do you see any progressive changes there? Yes, well, there's going to be the continued corruption that's going on at this time. It is, it's going to take some time, but apparently the women out of energies have kind of made themselves comfortable there, as you can see. I do not see it improving anytime soon. It's going to be, I know some of us see it's actually in a better light, but... From my perspective, it's very deceptive at this time. So they are, of course, it's a lot of it's coming from the queen. And so they have pretty much, they want to keep things the way it is right now for a long time until they get ousted. So it's going to be a while. Blessings. 
Thank you for that answer. Uh, Jake asks, um, why are many of us attracted to bringing healing energies from Venus to Earth? Because you know, many of you are had incarnation connections with the Venus. Venus, you can't go wrong with, with, with Saturn. You realize it's somewhat connected to your cabal slightly. Not entirely, but slightly. Enough, or maybe too much. And even also your Mars. Your Venus has always been like the healthy place. It's like, I'm going to go healthy. I'm going to go to Venus. I'm going to go get healed. I'm going to be a child again. I want to renew my vibrations. Atlantis had a lot of Venus energies. Venus is just has this such a positive vibration about it that they don't cause any wars. They're of peace. Even beings that cause difficulties, they don't get very far. Even archons have difficulties with Venus taking, yeah, it's causing difficulties. So it's just Venus is like drinking the cleanest water in the universe, you could say. So it's just some of you have incarnations with it, and some of you just love that vibration. It's just a neighbor that you just love to go to for assistance and care. And they always love to connect to this world for sure. Because the survival of this earth does affect them. So they want humanity to find itself. Many are vegetarians from Sir from Venus also. And brethren and brethren have your word that. Uh, many of them are from Venus also. Blessings. Right. I'm not seeing any other questions, so I'll throw out one of my own. Um, I've been hearing in recent webinars that the level of magic is rising on the earth. Uh, yes. Last I heard it was around 8.2% of what it could be. Um, do you know what the current level of magic is? And can you tell us how magic will play a role in our growth? Yes, many of you are going to connect more to your magician side of yourself, the wizard side, the sorceress side. You're getting more comfortable with this as you're you're receiving DNA downloads. As for the percentages around eight to ten, it can even go to twelve depending on the day, depending on the person also. That's gonna it's eventually go to fifty percent. So you see, it's not necessarily a low number, not at all. As you're getting used to this high vibration, it's always gonna be a few of you, but a good amount of you though. This is gonna continue. This is basically to unmask your earth, this through magic. You're opening up portals, you're becoming more yourself, maybe you go to the sixth dimension instantly and find yourself at home there. So it's also many of you feel comfortable, many souls feel comfortable at a sixth dimension level. And that's where you're heading back there. Or not to say really left. Um, we have another question in the uh, YouTube chat. Uh, Will there be an Earth as great as Atlantis was or Egypt in the future? Oh, it'd be far, it's going to be far better. No more of this Archon manipulations on your world either. But you also make friends with them and even create new societies for them as they're going through a dark side of themselves. But of course, that is very much... Yes, it's, the world's going to go through a lot of turbulent times between now and the time I am. But not of the time that you're thinking of cataclysms or anything like that. It's just going to be, especially those coming out of third dimension to fourth dimension are going to have difficulties removing those blockages of third dimension. But basically, the human race is going to find itself more light, basically. You feel yourself as if you can do anything. Like you are a god, and you're connecting more to your god energies. That's where you're going. That is where you're heading at this moment. Lessons. Thank you for that answer. I don't see any other questions in the queue, so I'd like to follow up on the magic. Uh, you said one of the things that would be helping move as high as the sixth dimension. I still have a hard time imagining what it's like to move into any other dimension. Uh, you know, when I have a telepathic experience, is that a fourth dimensional experience? And, and Yes. What does it look like for me to experience other dimensions or anyone, any human in particular? Well, it'd be a fourth and fifth dimension. It doesn't always mean you'll be connected to that constantly. Basically, your mental state, the energy within your crown chakra basically will open itself up. So, little by little, yes, you may be coming in the third dimension, but also allowing more of the fourth dimension to connect to. 
basically you're just letting go of the old ways of life you can transform into a six dimensional being if you want to it's basically just allowing yourself to become more open more clear and not having any blockages from anyone causing any diff mental difficulties as many are connected to the drama energies you see on your planet so basically you're bringing more of a openness to yourself and just it's like a high dimensional hippie basically the more hippie you get some of you are already feeling that the more of that will continue just become more and more hippie and so yeah some of you take a six dimension energy and make it into a third and fourth vibration so just have fun with it. You, you'll know. You'll just feel different. You'll feel as if I don't have a care in the world. I'm connecting to Mars and all kinds of insanity right now. So that tells you you're in the sixth dimension or fifth dimension. Blessings. Thank you. Um, we've got a follow up to the Canadian question. Uh, Carol writes uh, elections are coming and we need a uh, hope question to remove Trudeau and find a better leader. Uh, can you answer uh, her request for hope? Well, yes, the Trudeau, yes, he needs to be, he's very much connected to the, the cabal energies for sure. As you can see, he's walking around all blissfully and like he's a king. Yes, that is very much a cabal stooge, you can say. So, yes, it is a possibility. It depends on your people what they want. Of course, it does help with the vibration of who's coming in. Yes, voting doesn't really matter, but it still has an energy. It does. It does have an involvement. It's still there, but as for him being removal, it's not being very clear. It's going to take some time for that to be. Just high, have high hopes. You will connect to a better candidate, but it's going to be. It's going to be some time from this. Possibly he'll be reelected from what I'm picking up on, if he's up for it at all. <laughs> okay, we That's have it. another. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, we have another uh, question in the YouTube chat. Uh, Mimi writes, since we are at a status quo situation in politics at the moment, how can we affect change effectively, perhaps with magic or galactic Reiki? It is like opening up a door within yourself, telling yourself, telling your higher self, I am ready. And many of you have done that. But some of it's like, I'm ready. I want it to happen right now. But these, some things do have... It takes a time for your vibration to shift. As you go into more of the high vibrations, you're like you're like letting go of your old self. So it does take some time for that. Basically, your intentions. It's all wrapped around your intentions. So that right there, you're connected more to Mother Earth. As I said before, the more you're being you. So what is what is this you you want to connect to? Now, some want to be an alien, get on their ship and fly away. Quite understand that. <laughs> But also your mission is here. So if you feel like there's a blockage, it's because you kind of hit the, your, the, the wall of your mission. So it's like, not to say you can't have change. You can't. But it's just you have to work with what you got. Because some do want just an absolute transformation gradually. Because a lot of humans aren't ready for it. And you signed up knowing well people aren't ready for it. So just be yourself and intuition. You're just, yes, you're what you want in your thoughts. Your heart will manifest over time. It takes a while for a flower to be blooming. It takes everything time. And you are opening up another planet. It is not something you do instantly. Blessings. Okay, first board in the YouTube chat is asking how you see the uh, politics playing out in the United Kingdom. A lot of corruption being put out into a lot of controversies being brought out. As the, I do see many scandals. You already see in the U.S. going on. I see more happening because your London, your U.K. is very connected to Russia also as for conspiracy. Of course, they're trying to stay as low bar as it is, but they're connected to a lot of controversies. Not the key controversy most likely will happen, but others will definitely evolve. The Queen likes to keep it very quiet and all cuddly and but that's, uh, I believe more of the positive energies that come through, meaning controversy is odd at times good because it brings out a lot of the corruption. So we believe some of that will start to unravel in your society. For the better, though, not to cause more difficulties or have enough of that.
right? I mean, thanks. Oh, Eva, go ahead. Um, I want to kind of continue yes. about the politics because um, I'm kind of, um, I don't want to change my mind, but wondering really what's true and what's propaganda and brainwashing. Um, majority of my friends are basically very so-called progressives and they believe that Trump is doing basically negative things. They are not able to see any positivity there, but they are also those people who should be the positive ones. Um, I, are they really like very brainwashed or what's really going on? Oh, yes. With... Well, they just don't like him. <laughs> That's yes. a big part of it. They don't like his character. They don't like his shoes. They don't like his clothes. They don't like anything about him. Got a good reason for that, too. He did not exactly set himself. He kind of set himself for disaster also. He didn't come here to be the most likable person, but it also it does kind of it kind of shields him from what he is doing too because nothing's ever perfect as you can see. So he's kind of dealing with a lot of his own inner issues, putting out for everybody to see. It's like maybe I had to work on some of this family situation he's going through. So it has a positive side, but but also he is doing a lot of positive, but not the media is nece not necessarily there to connect with it. As sometimes he would rather keep it quiet because what he's going into. It's probably best it doesn't get a whole lot of lights because the quietness is of good. But if those don't like him, that's that's their he's not there to be liked, he's there to change things. So right now it's just it's yes, it does cause a lot of lower vibrations. Also, of course, the cabal does not want him there either. At least the negative did not want him there either. Because there is a lot of positive energies once again done in secret. And they are not liking it because they are being slightly dismantled from this earth slowly. Blessings. Thank you. We've got a couple interesting questions popping up in the YouTube chat. Uh, Cami asks, how did the open first contact happen in your timeline and with whom, please? And I'd like to add, maybe you can elaborate a little bit on, on uh, the discussion. The events that took place in your timeline. Oh yes, actually, it was the Palladians that brought a lot of of appearance. The North, uh, you could say, the tall whites were very much involved with in that. Also, it was the assembly of many Nordic-looking humans, but not all. Many were different races, also. But the Palladian energy plays out different species. But basically, how it went down is basically many like you were becoming more powerful and allow basically many first contacts over time even of course the news would get slightly even getting photographs of them becoming more and part of your it's like people say oh that's fake and basically having more of it an intimate connection with aliens plus not necessarily going to dinner with them but they are visiting and became more and more and more in the future that allows more and more of first contact energy worldwide over time this week now this took a long time so that's something that happened oh just the Palladian showed up and everything changed. Not at all. It took years. As for how many, well, we'll leave, it, we'll leave that out. But uh, And then Zeta started appearing in certain areas around the governments where people started seeing them. People that aren't aware of any of this got kind of spooked. It's like, wait a minute. If they're here, that's not a surprise. So you'll get even reptilians eventually showed up. So it was a little sporadic around the world. Just little by little, your media played a big role. Of course, they blacked it out for some time. But the alternative brought it out. So it was little by little, and eventually you have your first contact. Very peaceful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're part of the of the peaceful negotiations with humanity. Uh, but mostly the Palladian energies of all different types of blue. I'll leave it out with you, but it's not that works. But it's just anything humanoid was here, basically. The yeah, yell or kind of quiet during that. But during the negotiations and transfer of, you know, we are here, it was mostly all by me. So it gives you kind of a sneak preview of what you're in. So, yes, yeah, so you'll have alien selfies. You'll have some of that. Uh, they'll appear. you show up in your pictures. That'll become more prominent. Not to say it won't happen in your time. But little by little, they're allowing to be seen. 
and you're allowing this. More of you are allowing this. Well, it just it's a you could call it a slow burn, basically. So many of you are asking aliens to show up. I'm ready for you. I would say continue that. I know sometimes it gets aggravating. Someone's like, "Why aren't you here? I've been asking for you to be here for that twenty years." Well, just you're just. I would say continue that. Lessons. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, Jess has a question. How can we help to disassemble the Archon influence here at this time? Yes, what happens with the Archon influence, they're part of those that are very mentally ill at this time. They basically get their implants into those and cause them to not think clearly and just go into total breakdown. Some are politicians, also some are very mind-controlled energy. How to heal that? is basically removing negativity off of your planet. And you are doing this, it just takes time. And you're gonna see things here that are just like, is that real, am I really seeing that? Yes, you are. And now it's in your entertainment as for the movie Alien. That is an Archon being, some will have controversies with that, but yes, that is an Archon vibration. So they're kind of putting a lot of fear because they don't want you to connect with them. So they're gonna show up as kind of furious creatures. Even in some of your horror movies, Archons are there, mostly reptilian. But there's other Archon energies there. How to heal it? It's a gradual heal. It is, yes, they have basically put this grid on your planet, as you can see, trying to make the mind go backwards. As for, they want humans to go back to a Neanderthal time period, basically. Basically, just you're just simpleton people, and technology is not helping with that either. As you can see, many are coming very reliant, and that's some ways turning into taking the human and closing it down to opening it up so many of you are on your path you will see archons more and more clearly if you want to as for healing them it's just going to take time Lessons. thank you we're getting more and more questions piling up in the youtube queue uh, yes uh, carol asks will the rv gcr nesara be occurring this year it's a high possibility. I have not seen a timeline where it's actually happened, but it's a possibility. It's it's becoming more likely from what I see, but it's has not given the full green light. It is becoming a high possibility, though. Um, I don't know what those acronyms stand for. Could you elaborate for the rest of us? My moment. energy field of it basically is i believe is mostly connected to your financial energies from what i'm picking up on <laughs> that is what i'm connected to thank you uh a quarry sorry i'm not going to mangle the pronunciation i'll just take who the, the the question the next question in the queue is do you see the eu breaking down in the near future 10 to 20 years possibly um, one moment. Yes, possibly. It all depends on the politics of the day, but it is becoming more likely uh, as many are leaving it. It's still going to have. It is becoming less and less of importance at this time. So yes. Okay, and Mimi asks: As we become the best versions of ourselves, do we not shift to a different timeline where the Earth and its inhabitants are at peace with no distractions from negativity? Yes, you are doing this at this time. We are also experiencing this reality, bringing you into that reality. So it's kind of like two of you going on at this time. That's and Firstborn asks, are the Sasquatch going to play a bigger role in our reality? They have to be careful on whether, yes. And mostly channel messages to make, keep themselves safe. Uh, for those that are open to them, most likely they'll begin to have more human contact. But they have to be careful with that. But yes, eventually, because there's many that are connected to that vibration. As for sightings, yes, in a more positive way where there's no guns around, because many are still trying to attack them, as you can see. So right now it'll be ch channel messages, uh, but eventually they'll have, yes, you'll see them as clear as day. If you're in the mountains, you definitely will see them. They'll know who you are. They know exactly your intentions. They can pick up all through your senses. So, yes. 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 Elga asks, uh, uh, what can we do to be safe from the G5 emissions? A moment. Add an extra layer of protection around you, at least for positivity of a, just like a shielding, basically. 
Uh, I've also intentions that that energy will be diffused in your intentions. Basically, it's like you're not going to bother me. It's like a lower energy. It's like you're not going. I don't need this. So basically, look at it that way. That is the best at this time. As for your energies, as for it is kind of difficult to avoid it from what I see at this time. Okay, the next question in the chat is from Leander. She asks, how will religion change and evolve in the future? I believe religion will evolve in your reality. Well, one moment. I'm kind of need to do different. On our realities, well, we'll connect to yours. Yours is a little bit easier. Basically, it will become more positive within. Ministers will change. Instead of all this end of the world, it's like, okay, now we're talking about galactic beings. So it will evolve. And become more peaceful within. Even your Pope will change his direction once the cabal was the it's gonna be out, it's gonna be like boom and doom and all that. It's like, oh, we have to change that, it's not working out too well. So over time it's just gonna start slowly unmasking. The community will stay the same, most likely. Because you're gonna wonder, what are all these people talking about? Aliens, what's going on? You want to know. And so the ministers will be like, Oh, they're the devil, but how long is that gonna last? <laughs> So eventually they'll just start bringing into your environment as you would as anything you would talk about so it'd be a slow gradual shift those communities will stay the same of course they'll always change but they just want more answers and many of you and your platforms your directions are making this happen I don't see any other questions popping up. Uh, I'm wondering if you could elaborate a little bit on how the awareness of extraterrestrials or uh, aliens uh, will impact religion. I imagine there'll be some blowback at first, some yes. resistance. Uh, but uh, I, I would really like a, a, some more detail as to how the awareness that we're all God's children regardless of our shape and form so much more diversity than we even have here on earth how that awareness will um create growth and understanding well it's going to go through what like many of your your ufo communities are going through right now fear in the beginning it's like i'm not sure about that especially with the reptilians reptilians are not going to get the good the best of it's like all oh, those reptilians and it'll be all written it's like oh that once again and but eventually, it will evolve in society. It's like, it will, it'll take probably, once it goes into your religion, it'll probably take 10 years for it to become more friendly, basically. So it's gonna be fear, demons, all of this, propaganda. You most likely will hear religions putting it on their posters, alien, people talking to aliens, oh, they're possessed and this and that. You're gonna go through a period of that. So that you know, just expect it. You're gonna, but yes, publicity. Maybe not the best publicity, but they can't ignore you anymore. Because basically, they're going to look in the Bible and say, "Wait a minute, some of this kind of correlates with the Bible." So, in some regard, so some of them are also going to see these beings also a little bit. So, so it's going to be because some of those going to church is like you know i just saw a reptilian being in my vision he was actually friendly so these things are gradual shift out of that sphere not everything is going to be fear so i'm going to be some religions your alternative ones your new age actually some of them would be quite open to it you'd be surprised it won't be all women do some would be like this is something new <laughs> let's explore this it might be a fear factor to it and also be so your new age you're more just your hallelujah groups are going to be the most fun with this because they're going to be inviting this to their sermons because they want to explore more that your traditional religions are going to have the hardest time with it because it's you know it's it's the bible and that's it now you're adding this so as you see religion added politics to its sermons. Now it's going to be adding aliens to it. Blessings. One of the last questions in the YouTube chat was uh, physical ET contact can be expected anytime soon. I know you talked about us connecting, uh, but uh, not quite uh, elaborating on how. Uh, I understand most of us 
are connecting through psychic means such as yes. channeling and telepathy and uh, and, and you already uh, reflected how many of us are frustrated that the physical contact yes. is not coming as quickly as we like. But yes. Maybe you could uh, elaborate on um, on the timing of that. Well, <clears throat> it has a lot to do with government regulations. I know that sounds like, oh, them again, but you'd be surprised. They have put like a band around this earth. You've probably heard this around at other communities. As basically, they'll like short you out. If you appear, they're going to turn you off. Basically, they have a way of seeing that you made an appearance, and then they close you out. Of course, ones in the skies are a little bit different, but individually, of course, they can't control all of that. But as it becomes more known, the government plays a big role. That your cabal does not want no part of it because their party will be over too. It's like everything we're, we're reading about aliens is true. Because everyone's saying they're seeing them become more prominent. So all that comes down to the government. Doesn't mean go knock on their door because it won't go very well. But eventually, many of you will. Those times are coming. But as for as for make, they're they're working on it. That's all they're telling me. I am out of the picture. I, I would appear. As for the ones that are part of your timeline, energy are doing what they can for appearance. It's it most likely would be in your lifetime. As for when, where, and how is is up in the air right now. I can say it's not. It'll be in ship form most likely, but as for physicality, it seems to be getting closer. Is all I can say. Um, Michelle has got a couple questions in the chat. Um, one is kind of similar to a previous question, but I'll ask it again. What can the average person do to create global change in changing policy about poisoning our water, our food, our vaccines, etc.? make yourself known of what you feel like you know you have your facebook you have others to make it known of what's going on articles about what they're doing to your water and also articles about what positive can be done and you can also do a blessing with it but basically communication is key basically at this time yes it is once again government re regulated you can also go to your local governments and start there's nothing wrong with that they you know you have council meetings if you really want to make a move there not to say it'll be a hit on you or anything like that. They will hear you and just let you go on your way. But it is another way of going about it, basically making your, your communication known. That is what we have. In this time. Eventually, it will ship out of your reality. And her second question, uh, she says she's feeling suffocated by being watched all the time. How do we as a collective say no to cameras and data mining everywhere? Yes, this is on an individual. It is basically not to, well, yes, because it's the deceptive energies that you're receiving from it. I mean, imagine many of you don't really care if anyone sees what you're doing. It's like everyone who isn't doing anything differently. But you are picking up on the deception energies of basically lies, like with Facebook and other beings. And that is where you can send a healing to that from yourself, basically. I don't need this anymore. I just deal with that. Because the deceptive energies are just, you don't want that in your energy field, which makes a great amount of sense. But yes, there's much going on that you're not aware of that's watching you also, as you believe galactically. But the deception, heal the deception. It's like, and puts like, no, you're not going to see me. And you can block out your, you can shield yourself from this. But what you're picking up is a negative video. I will send you energy. All right, the next question I see in the queue, I apologize for my pronunciation, but the poster's name is Funnison Bear. Uh, yes. His question is, I wonder if I'm already in contact with aliens. Right now, I can't tell if I'm correct. Yes, I believe so. Just trust your instincts. Surround yourself with the light of positivity. But yes, I believe so. There's always going to be this discouragement. It's like, is this happening or not? I believe so. As for what being, I will leave that for you to connect with. But it does seem like it's playing light beings are around you, but I will leave you with that. Blessings. Thank you. I know that was rather personal, but I think it reflects many others' experiences at this time. Yes, it's everybody on your world is, ex is experiencing this and just not aware. Um, 
the questions are coming in faster than I can track them now. Elga asks, will the deep state be dismantled? Over time, your third dimensional, the, those in the third dimensional have to let it go. They're buying their products, that's fine, but also realizing that they are here will help you unlock them, basically the mind control, basically. You lock the mind control, you will be free. So yes, I believe, yes, you will be. And my timeline, can I do more to yours? Because I'm of a different vibration once again, but yes, you will. It's just continue, less fear, more love. Many are putting out fear, oh, the cabal is wearing this and doing this. And yes, that's true, but connecting more to the positive. There is a positive Illuminati you can connect with through your psychic abilities. They'd be loved to be connected to because they are assisting in your ascension. Others are making it challenging. And we have a couple questions from Hungary. The uh, poster on YouTube writes, I love this current government a lot. I would like to know if the prime minister, Mr. Viktor Orban, is aware of ETs, or maybe if uh, the security, military, or intelligence agencies in Hungary uh, are are aware and uh, good people in general yes they are aware they just don't they don't want to scare anybody but yes they are aware they're not he isn't going to full detail part of it he does not want to know all the details but his military is definitely connected to it so as for disclosure anything is possible as for a government disclosure it would be helpful but many of them see why governments do not disclose because they might lose their funding they might have a they might end up like syria that's they won't end up like that, but they don't, you know, you got to be careful. It's for the people, too. They want to protect the people. So, that's it. Thank you so much. This time, I'd like to ask you to check in with Ivan and see if he's tired or needs a break, water, uh, etc. Yes, we can go for a little bit longer if there's questions, but I'll have to close out in about 10, 10 15 minutes. All right, let's see. Carol asks, if the cabal is dissolving, do we have a hope of removing Trudeau? Uh, it doesn't, well, yes, it seems to be a common energy. It does not seem like he wants to go, and I don't, I feel like he's doing a lot of compromises to stay. But yes, he, it would be better for everyone if he did go, but it, does, it seems like unlikely. But continue with your positive energies. I believe he will lose his grip there. Just, you're on the right track, but... It seems like he's going to hold on for another term, at least at this moment. But as for the cabal, it is in some areas, as you see with government, they're excellent at seducing humanity, as you can see. The politicians, excellent on seducing them with power, with money, you know, not just money, because they just give them, here, you want an island? Here you go. You can have this. Of course, they don't say it. it's on their tax records, of course. <laughs> Another question just popped into YouTube from Plasma Plaza, Plasma John Doe. It seems I am feeling clairsentient strong. What is next? Um, clear audience. Basically, you'll get more of a clear. I believe visions will become more clear to you, but maybe not at a full range, but you'll just like pictures will come to you. Energy feels your Arcturian energies are very strong from what I see at this time. So just go on your way. You are connecting to your higher vibrations. This is. Radu PV asks uh, to, for you to tell us about your DNA. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, one moment. Well, without percentages, I'll leave that up. It's Palladian, Arturian, Syrian. It is around, they're all around the same amount. Anunnaki, it's a high vibration of Anunnaki of 12 percent anunnaki we actually become more anunnaki over time the wearing increase with the anunnaki increases great the positive anunnaki let you know that because many was like that's a no-no not at all um there's a lot of, and also as the sunny energies are brought to more into us also that helps us with our teleportation actually as the sunny energy is excellent at at teleporting around their planets and all that because it's at a higher frequencies that are connected some have some have Fendorians, but I don't have Fendorian S size energy seems to be working out quite fine. So yes, they're part of your future human energies. And yes, you will see great amount of them on your planet. And they're already have here, they're just not seeing them. 
but in your future, you're going to see a great deal. Uh, the shift asks, what is underneath Mount Shasta? Are people being called there? Oh, but a alien ship is under there at this time. <laughs> there is, yes, a positive vibration there. There's different species there, but is there for healing mostly? All right. Um, we have a question about George Soros and what is his purpose here on Earth? Moment. Yes, with the Cabal energy, he made a deal with them to be given a lot of money, but also to be their stooge. He's not much different than your Bill O'Reilly, actually. He's a propagandist of, of the millionaires, the billionaires, basically. He is funded well, and his money comes from out of nowhere through companies. It just automatically comes to him, basically, to be the villain, to be the front man of it. He's not too proud of it. Sometimes, like, oh, what have I chose this for? But he's... I don't see any negative karma coming from either because he's kind of getting it all out in this through old age through he's finding a way to filter it out. Uh, but be, but yes, he is just basically the Cabal's bald guy. The the Rothschilds do not want any part of it. They 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 can, but they say they gave it to him instead. So that's And that reminds me of a question. I think I missed a question. Somebody asked about uh, Trump and uh, how he may be serving or not serving the people. Well, there's a little bit of a different, yes, it's yes and no. Yes, it's compromise. It's, as you can see, the, the war cabal is right in his face right now. He would actually like to get rid of the Federal Reserve, trust me. He'd like to do a lot of things, just throw it all out. Even the wall. He doesn't necessarily want a wall. He feels it's necessary. But in truth, I don't believe he really wants it. You'd rather everyone just to get along. He does have a, a heart. His heart is what you're seeing. But as you can see with the scandals, and it's just he is being heavily tested as for his morality. But there is a heart there. But he just there's no, he has it's bringing out his dark side as you can see. As they put pressure onto him, he's seeing him acting irrational. But I believe yes, deep within he wants a better. A better world for everyone but trust me he would pull the cord on your federal reserve in five minutes if he was allowed to he saw what happened at kennedy and it was already pulled a no-no all around trust me but he's finding ways around that he is it's that's why it takes a longer it takes longer to do what he's doing but he's doing it in secret also but you didn't hear me say that Uh, Plasma, Plasma John Doe is asking, is there a race that is providing host for Archontic forces right now? There are negative Palladians that are involved with it, and also, we'll freeze for the negative ones. Yes, negative Palladians are very much involved. And negative, negative Nordics are causing a lot of difficulties on your planet, basically. Yes, it's mostly them, from what I see. That's what I see. Right. Um, Vanessa Bayer asks, uh, sometimes I feel like my own thoughts vibration is directly translated into language by other people. Is this an illusion, synchronicity, or both? It is both. You are connecting more to your higher self energies. Is basically part of you is letting out. You're receiving information for others, what they need to hear from you. So as for toning, as for high vibration, they need to hear this from you so that everyone you're feeling others connected to. It, I believe it's the best for everyone. All right, I think we've reached a pause in the questions, and yes. this might be a good time to uh, bring Ivan back. Yes. Yes, blessings to your, your society. And one thing to add, your Egypt plays a big role in your Earth's ascension process. For healing, for channeling Egypt to know where Egypt is. It is there for a reason. It stands out like a sore thumb for a good reason. You can say it's the center of your earth and uh, talking to, but does play a big role. As for bringing enlightenment to humanity, as once they are activated, your earth will change drastically. Blessings. Blessings and thank you. All right.
Records. Welcome back, Ivan. All right, thank you. That went well. I thought right. so. We had a lot of interesting information. Thank you so much for bringing that through for us. Yeah, no problem. All right. Uh, does anybody want to give a final blessing as we wind up the uh, session? Well, I just want to thank everyone for participating. Um, remind people that uh, they can uh, learn more about Ivan at IvanTeller.com or his YouTube channel. And uh, the, the folks interested in uh, Hukolo, the Human Colony Organization, can see our website at Hukolo.org. And uh, Ivan, do you have any final thoughts for, before we go offline? Uh, no, just thank you for inviting me. I'm glad to be a part, glad to help people in their questions. So, um, so much love, everyone. Michelle, I see you popped in. Do you want to give a final blessing for us? Your mind reader. <laughs> who who has channeled? Give it a little late. quick message from I think it's from the Pleiadians basically uh, we are graduating humanity is graduating from the third dimension to the fourth dimension fourth dimension to fifth dimension thank you all for having an open mind as this open mind this will take you to a new ground of soul exploration as the soul right now is going through a lot of turbulent energies through negativity through media, through religions, through friends, as it's a turbulent earthquake going through society, as you let all that go. And of course, not always going to be perfect. You won't find your peaceful self. Not always find your peaceful self. It's very difficult because there's so many distractions. Find the peace within. You will find your galactic connections, your heaven, your angels, your spirit guides. You want to always agree with everyone, that's okay. But what you what is right for you, your truth is what matters most of this. That's really the High councils. I find the gift of inner peace to be one of the greatest gifts available and that's a very wonderful message. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then um, with that, uh, we'll go off the air. Thank you all for joining, especially Ivan for uh, channeling for us today. And uh, love and blessings to everyone here and who re uh, watches this in the future.